Hi everybody, this is Dear Mama Sal and I thought today I would show you what I'm going to do with some of that leftover beef that we had from last week's beef pot roast. Um, as you can see in the sink here, I have peeled some potatoes and some yams and actually two different sorts of potatoes and some yams. So I've got yellow potatoes, russet potatoes and yams. Now those I'm going to wait until after I finish the broadcast and then I will steam them and then drop them in to the braised beef. Now what I do when I have finished a roast is I continue to slice it and then I will package it in sort of one person helpings if you like. So that means if I just want to have a beef dinner I can pull out a couple of slices on their own. I don't have to you know, defrost everything and so forth. So it's a really useful thing to do. And For example, I know I've got one, two, three, four, five, six servings here for four people. So I know it's going to be enough. I'm going to add to that just, you know, clearing the bottles. You know I like to do these sort of meals so I can clear up bottles. I've got some mustard left over from the barbecue season. I've got some Worcestershire sauce, which always tastes good. I'm going to put a little bit of Frank's on this one today. A little bit of soy sauce. It all adds to the taste. And this is just to get it started. Uh, when I have got down to about an hour to go, I will taste it and then add what I think it needs at that point. And I'll let you know if I add anything. Oh, the other thing I have added, I should mention, I have added about a tablespoon of beef bovril and two cups of water. They're a bit bigger than a regular cup. Two mugs of water, how about that? And so that's all in there now. Now I know that I will be adding gravy to it uh, and I'm going to make that separately. But in the meantime, all this can be going. I'm going to set it here on four, on high. And time-wise, I'm going to set it for, what are we now? Two, three. Hello. I'm going to set it for six hours. It won't actually cook for that long, but that's what I'm going to do, just so that I don't have to think about it. Now, as the whole idea of my dinner today is to use up stuff, I went to the fridge to see what else needed to be used up, and I found some baby carrots that need to go in, and also a little bit of celery. Now, I've put them in with the long cook, because I don't really want them necessarily to be showing as part of the meal. I just basically want them to cook to nothing, um, you know, and become part of the gravy almost. So that's on its way. Everything's good. <laughs> Thank you.